And we are extruding this perch line, starting any moment. Here we go. Okay, so we're gonna see how fast it is. Printing now, and I'm in the meanwhile, I am in the reality slicer, and I will configure the ender to be added to my um, to the program so we can start configuring a Benchy print. Hey, follow him. What's going on? How's your evening or your day so far? So, um, what are the settings now? 20, 0 0.25. Just figuring out my settings here. Two shell, top three, bottom three. So I guess I found all the settings that need to be changed. Great, great, great. So I've created changes um, to the print settings um, so we can compare that later. Um, what Creality Slicer will do in terms of speed benchy rules versus what they have on the on the printer, which might be different settings. It is not silent. No, it's not. There's noticeable noise coming from the printer and it's pushing crazy. Pushing like crazy. Interesting enough, the, the external layer is actually printed quite slow. It's slower than what we did yesterday with the, or not, was it, was it, no, it was not yesterday, but in the last stream where we tested out the limits of the V0. So that was, for sure, the external layer was printed faster than this. You see, this, this exact slower turn uh, was much faster on the V0, but maybe the infill is faster in this. Interesting. Looks faster than the Voron. We're gonna figure out. The thing is with the settings, and also the slicer can make a difference. Slicer, there is, for, like some people told me that Kira can create faster speed benches than Orca Slicer for some reason, because there is some settings that are in Cura that doesn't exist in Orca Slicer and vice versa, and always seems to be that Cura is creating 
more optimized um, path for the for the extrusion. This is just the optimized way to print the Benchy without compromising on anything, which could be true. Didn't yet test that. That Benchy looks bigger on the Voron. Honestly, the Voron uh, makes the Benchy look bigger because it's, the printer is too small, right? <laughs> So let me not forget to touch the screen at least uh, once here because it's otherwise shutting off. But honestly, if I look at the quality, I already, I'm already quite convinced that the lower layers of this Benchy look already much better than the Vorons and I have no idea why this is. Maybe better cooling. It can only be cooling because um, that's one thing that I figured with the Voron, honestly, I think the cooling of the mini stealth burner is not the greatest. So that is for sure something that it, long term, if you have that printer, you might want to change to uh, other fans, something that is more powerful, which I probably is a big compromise on the Voron mini, uh, on the Voron Zero. That makes this less powerful cooling. Here we have much more, like we have actually two fans running, one in the back and one in the front, which are blowing a lot more air. So it could be just the cooling is much better optimized, getting the first layers, especially the lower layers, visually much, much cleaner. Yeah, we should maybe add a side fan. There is some modification, some add-ons that, that are adding a side blower fan to the, to the V0 so that it blows, cools down the filament. The hot end, I don't think that we can improve the, the hot end cooling without really significant changes. So that is a little unfortunate. Thank you Offworld Objects for following on Twitch. Thank you very much, very much appreciated. Alexander is here. <laughs> hey, good evening. Thanks. Thank you for joining in for this little first test of the NFV V3. Ah, oh, here's you. <laughs> That's becoming an insider joke, I guess. The insider joke for, for uh, Alexander is actually that he was winning uh, the, I think he was winning the first giveaway on Twitch this year. And since we had so few people yet joining on Twitch, so we just were growing the audience and we were just doing the first couple of giveaways that Alexander was winning the first one and I was already, and also winning the second one. <laughs> like, and we couldn't really believe it, but there was so, there, there, there was not many people joining the giveaway, so I think it was three or four people in the giveaway and there was like a one to four chance to win for everyone, so that can happen. But Alexander was, was kind enough to give the, the, the giveaway back and we gave it to another person, right? So it was like, that's why this is a running gag. Everything, every time he comes, it's going to be asked. The 220 on another, I think on the on the Warren, it was going higher. It was the same filament, though. So yeah, again, I guess same filament, same temperature, a little bit higher temperature maybe on the Warren, but we could we, we could try again with a reduced temperature um, to see if it's different. But it's so significant, honestly. The issues, the temperature issues on the Warren, is so significant in this first centimeter that I have my doubts that we can majorly improve this just by lowering the temperature 10 degrees. So I guess what we can try is we can add a, just a temporary blower fan and figure out if that improves any anything on the V0. But this looks already quite promising.
We are about 10 minutes into the print and we are doing quite well, I would say. And uh, supposed to, uh, as per this menu, we still have only three minutes left for printing. And uh, it's hard to believe, but it could be, it could be possible. At least the official print time uh, estimation was 13 minutes and yeah, some kind of blower fan, anything will do. I think the only change that could be, that could make sense for uh, the V0, since it's, it's so small, that uh, we use an external hose and replace all of the fans completely, like the blower fans, the cooling fans, replace them completely with um, with an external hose uh, going into a musical a blower fan adapter. And so we blow in air with a compressor or some kind of turbine from the outside. So we can keep the weight of the tool head, probably re reduce it with the step, keep it small, and have the um, have still some awesome cooling, but again, and this is a modification I really don't want to do at this on this printer because it's the way how it is at the moment. I like it visually so much that I don't want to make it so so overloaded with stuff. We're doing the uh, rooftop. Um, seems that in some of the reasons, uh, regions here we don't have an infill, so that might also be one reason why it's so much faster. Having no, no infill in certain regions is definitely going to help the print speed. But yeah, let's see, let's see how, how, we, uh, how we end up with the timing. To, we have only one minute left. I have my slight doubts that we will make it in actually under... In 13 minutes, complete time, I'm not sure if this is going to happen. Let's see. Let's see, let's see, I'm, I'm curious. Uh, so I, I can at least guess the compromises here. They are compromising a lot on the infill. So um, it is probably not, probably not uh, according to the speed benchy rules, if I'm honest, this, is, this can't be. So I, I, would, I, would, I would have my doubts here. So we're doing the, the chimney. Can we do the chimney in 10 seconds? I'm not sure. Let's see. So we over 13 slightly, probably gonna end up with 13.30 or something. But this chimney will take a couple more seconds. Last few layers. Okay, so 13 minutes, 29. 13 minutes, 30 seconds. I guess this was also the target time that we figured yesterday for the V0, potential optimized time for the V0. Not, not bad, not bad for the Spenji print um, quality. Oh, it's super sticky. The surface is super sticky, which is nice. Um, and let's take a closer look. So I'm gonna bring the Benchy from the Voron, just for a comparison. And so this is the Benchy from the Enders 3 V3. Now it is for sure not bad. Uh, we don't have stringing. Um, however, we have some side issues with the cooling. Um, obviously, we have the same, like, fun, fun, there, there could be some fundamental um, yeah, thing here with the cooling that is at least up to this point, very similar to the V0, but not as worse. Like, if you look at this Benchy here, 
This is from the V0 and you see especially the first centimeter uh, there is severe cooling problems um, and we have a way more um, exaggerated elephant foot here and also the like the layer nines don't look uh, that nice versus the Ender 3 V3 which produced this result. Now if this is according to the speed benchy rules or not this doesn't matter so much it's just with this kind of print speed getting this kind of result is definitely showing us okay that, that we have a much better cooling system for example and an extrusion system also seems to be working super well yeah some some minor uh, visual artifacts here on the front of this print but the rest seems to be looking actually fairly good so not not too bad again compared this is the Voron V0 print from last week um, if we forget about the lower layers here, um, everything up here, which doesn't have this like the heat bed heat creep going up, um, looks fairly well. However, could also be a little better. And especially the front here is, yeah, significantly uh, impacted by temperature issues or extrusion issues, and we have to figure that out. So for doing nothing, basically doing no manual tweaking, tuning or anything on this printer, I think this is already good, it's already good.